Wow. Let me get this straight. Amir Khan, who was a year ago laying flat out on the canvas. Laying flat on the canvas. Knocked out cold for the for the whole count. All of a sudden, let me get this straight. He thinks he should get 70% and Kell Brook gets 30%. That's not trying to make a fight. You trying to rip off the other guy and you trying to price yourself out. Because that's a fight you don't really want. All you do is waste people's time. Khan has been doing this since 2012. And probably even longer. He does not want to face Kell Brook. Eddie Hearn needs to stop entertaining Amir Khan. He is he's stuck in his ways. His team of lawyers are stuck in their ways. This guy has fought twice in three years. He's not worth even mentioning. Golden Boy Promotions, they just want to make some money off of him because they've overpaid for Amir Khan's services plenty of times. So let's focus on that. Mm, mm, mm. I'm, I'm, it's almost baffling, but I'm used to it with Amir Khan. He's so delusional. In his own mind, he thinks he's great. He doesn't even remember the Canelo knockout. And that was the last time we seen him in a ring. And you're asking the guy who just fought Triple G Golovkin, a guy that nobody seems to want to fight, and he did the best job against Golovkin than anybody, and he's a welterweight. So what does that tell you? I mean... I understand why you wouldn't want to do it. You wouldn't survive. But to each his own, Amir Khan is exactly what I told y'all he was from day one. All he is is a walking contradiction. He's a delusional. Anybody who follows this guy is just as delusional. I mean, his family, the taxi drivers, they just want to write him off so they can get rid of him. I mean, the guy hasn't beat anything. Uh, well, he beat his meat <laughs> on video. That's about the only thing that keeping him in the news. And I think he probably lost that battle, too. <laughs> So, with that being said, it's your boy Carcino. I'm done. I had a battle this cold I got. Kind of got me on the ropes right now. I'm doing the rope-a-dope with it. But I'll be back.